Regardless of how far I see, I never see my travels in. We're carried by the current, being driven by the wind. The scenery we pass will never see again. So we store it up as memories and don't let go of them. The one that actually was captured and is on the internet, and that was us freestyling together at the wake up show. And it's not technically that that particular one was like my favorite one, but the fact that you get to see up close how much fun we would have when we were doing that. Well, I got this trick where I can rhyme and do a head spin at the same time right on the table. So if you guys not on this table, bro, just let you stay here. And that was always, but this was one where it wasn't just a camera of two guys on a stage from 30 feet away. Like the cameras were right in our face. So you can actually smell the fun. You could see how much fun we're having up close. Of course, they're coming through with a lot of force. Giving them everything they got to do to make sure that they feel it and it's pure. If they stand strong, they might endure as we give them everything. It's like a war. You might see me on tour, but I'm not making enough paper. But if you come up to me after the show, I'll be like, yo, I'll see you later. Because I ain't trying to have you around not being an innovator. I generate a rhyme, penetrate your mind, yes, and sir, innovate sir, sir. that's fine. Under me, I ain't giving you no paper. I'll give you a bus mask. Yeah. I'll give you a razor so you can shave that mustache. I give you everything you need to get where the hell you gotta go. Go ahead and kick your little flow, hey, yo, yo. I know that the fact is my mustache is dirty, but I'm 20. But with this, the chicks think that I'm 30. So they're like, man, I like you. You want to just dance, but MCs don't know they never could advance. I'm like an avalanche. It was really validating to have these older heads like Sway and Tech vibing off of what we were doing because they were legends to us. When they hear this kid idea, they know he's the ish. Because I wipe them up like tissue, and if I dish you, don't make an ish. You, I squish fools who's thinking that they rhyme is tight, but it's so pit to fool. I rip a fool, and he ain't even trying to step. Because every time I grab the mic, I get respect, cash my check, and break a neck. Seeing them enjoy and have fun while we're uh, while we're having fun, like that kind of stuff, you know. And the thing is, like I say, like it didn't just happen once or twice. There's not this one great memory. It's like this is like a this was a part of my life. This was something that we did. I make you bust the frown because I crush the clown. How you like me now? How you like me now? From the longitude to the latitude, just to my bad attitude, to the way I grab the microphone to laugh. Well, my camera roll is too damn expensive, and I don't know if I can talk about it right. What kind of business only never pull me on the mic? I do this shit tight, and I keep it up in sight. The video would go a little clearer if we had light. See, then I grab mics and tap with the lens. You can tell all your friends, yo, man. I bet you're running expensive. What are you kidding? Not many of the songs we did together were released. Um, out of the ones that were released, the, the jam on the Oliver Hart record was the best one. Fell in love with sensation, now I'm my own mental patient, but that's the price you pay if you want to live for free. Kill my dedication, put me on your medication, drop me off in space and never come to get me. Nothing that I say has ever been that amazing, so when I die, do me a favor. Forget me? Is that what it's called? Found inspiration inside your misery. Always trying to take an inch more than what they're giving. Dear God, let me die on the rich people's lawn, because I'm not so sure they're going to learn my songs. Every morning he repeats that same shit. Spends the day dying to be famous. But there were some songs that didn't get released that were super good. The funny thing is, one of the songs that got released, it's called The Stick Up. I'm Slug Infinite, he's no idea. Please refrain from screaming this evening, even though it might ease the pain you'll receive when I squeeze that brain. It's on the Headshots 7, but because of a mistake in the artwork, somehow it got misnamed. Two songs got flipped around, The Stick Up and Lyle Love It. So everybody thinks that the song with Idea is called Lyle Love It. And everybody thinks that the song about sex is called The Stick Up, when actually it's backwards. The sex song is supposed to be the Lyle Lovett, and The Stick Up was the song featuring Idea. And it's unfortunate, 
because I don't think Idea ever would have made a song that gross. Like the, the sex song is like super gross. Hoes and tramps, fucks and sluts, bitches, scams, tits and butts. It's about like all the different girls I got and all the different sexual things. Yeah, it's just nasty. It's a stupid song, but I feel bad that that, that it appears as if he's on that song when he's not. He's actually on a different song. Um, there's a song called The Move that never came out that's really cool. But I guess if I was to pick out of all the songs that were ever released, my favorite one that I have me and him is, uh, is Forget Me. If you ever need anything, I mean anything at all, I'm here for you. All you gotta do is ask me. I'm here for you. In the same way that you hear from me, each person is an intricate piece of infinity. I feel like if you could see what I see, then we as humanity could be free. I'm here for you, not for any self-centered reasons, because existence is interdependent and all's related, connected, it's different manifestations of one single mind. You ain't isolated from the world, even though it feels like that. So 